lift it on underneath cross okay and use your hands now depending how much dough you want to eat or you know <coughs> I you think can you make this thicker if you want, a little thinner. Yeah. That's the kind of size you want. So this is the, the actual the thickness of this dough is is what we're looking for, yes? Yeah. Just, yeah. That's yeah. around about three millimeter. There. Yeah. In relation. In my day it's about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now do we leave this to relax? Yes. Once again, leave it in the warm area. Yep. Yeah. So you sit. We're going to leave this sitting on top of our oven chefs where there's plenty of heat there. Knock it back again. Right. And the classic board for a French bakery is Boulanger, yeah? Uh huh. So you make a ball. Everything in flour, make a ball. again and then I think we're going to have enough up to do a little piece of stuff you and me <laughs> okay once okay. again mark it off okay, yes perfect okay, the rest and then the staff one the secret with all food just do not have any waste. I hate waste. So do I. Every chef should be paying attention to that, what has just been said. Waste is one of the biggest loss making elements in the kitchen in relation to, remember chefs about what we spoke about before about keeping your job, yeah? Um, waste is one of the biggest factors that can contribute to a kitchen losing money. So be it, you know, pay attention to that also as well as that. If you're left in a situation of where you have waste left over, you have, um, you've actually misjudged what it was you were trying to create on the menu in the first place, okay? So be aware of that, chefs. This is just be a sampler for your meat, so we don't have any waste. Just leave that for Yep. Clean up that there. Scrape down the table. Yep. We're going to let that rest for about four or five minutes. Then we're going to bake it five to seven minutes, bring it out, and then we're going to put the toppings on and finish it. So just 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 to go back to this product here again, I mean, okay, if we were um, in the kitchens and we hadn't got a product like this, right? I mean, okay, this is a you know this product that Bob's has given us here is a convenience product, correct? To a point, yeah. To a point, okay. Now in a situation like this, I mean, would something like this be perfectly acceptable in, re I mean, in a restaurant? I mean, I know we're looking oh, at it to put oh, it on oh, our oh. menu. This, this is the ultimate godsend to a restaurant chef looking after CDX. Because how simple was it? Oh, yeah. You get the recipe, you put it together, you let, take your size, you prove it, you roll it out. It's fresh. It's done on site. It's everything. The only difference between that there, Bob's have gone to the point of measuring the amount that you've got, they're giving you the recipe about the amount of oil, the amount of water, the time and temperature for your yeast, mix it all together, and as you see the fermentation, you see everything let and relax, yeah. we're going to have the perfect pizza for celiac. And make no mistake, in this modern age, do you want to spend another 15 euros an hour for a chef? Dealing around with it, mm -hmm. or do you want to bring it in and save the extra 15 euros to do something else in your kitchen? Yes, okay. So you're, it's wages versus thing, and yet still given the most perfect product 
product you can. Mm. And what about, okay, I know we haven't cooked it yet, and I know we haven't tasted it yet, but we also have the point where with the ingredients that are in this, what do you think and feel that the quality is going to be like after it's cooked? I know by working with it, good. From the feel? You know, you know, if somebody gives you a recipe, and you're making, you're working on a recipe, it doesn't matter if it's bread or whatever, you're working on a recipe, and you see it coming together, the times and temperatures are correct, mm -hmm. and it's working. Mm -hmm. Then it's been tried and tested, mm -hmm. and it's been tried and tested. You don't have to try and test it. Someone else has done it for you. That's the reason you can go into our website and get everything that's been tried and tested by you and I, mm -hmm. and people can take it down because it's been tried and tested. Excellent. Okay, chefs, what we'll do now is we're going to let these uh, pizza bases relax for a few more minutes. We're in the situation of we're going to begin the process of putting the pizza together. We'll bring you back.